Hi everyone, thanks for watching. This is AMRC, I'm Alex, and this is the Hobby King Bix 3. And this is really special plane to me because I got it for Christmas seven years ago. And it was my first ever RC plane. And yeah, I learned to fly on this mostly. Well, it's not exactly the plane I got uh, back then for Christmas because that went through a few crashes, pretty bad ones. And it was fixable, but I had chunks of foam missing. So since uh, the parts were cheap, I decided to get all new foam parts. It's had a few flights uh, after that. And as you can see, there's a bit of hanger rash. I've also added uh, the tape on the wings for orientation. It was easier for me back then. And I think I haven't flown this plane in about five years. And when I've flown it, I, uh, I've always used to hand launch it. I did try, I think, about three years ago to uh, fly it with the landing gear on. But the prop came loose, I just got frustrated and uh, haven't really touched it since then. But this time has come, let's see if uh, I can still fly this thing. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> You might need some trimming, or it might be a bit tail heavy. Okay. Now I do have in this uh, Lemon RX receiver. It has uh, stabilization and auto leveling. I took off without that. Now it's in uh, auto leveling, just so I can get my bearings, get some altitude. I've tried these receivers in a couple of other planes before and uh, I wasn't really happy with the stabilization. Okay. Still wanting to climb. I'm using a 3000 3S battery. I still can't quite get the CG right. It seems to be a tad tail heavy. And another issue this has it does come with uh, flaps, they're cut out, but they don't have the servos installed. You can install them afterwards. I haven't, I just uh, taped up the flaps so they won't flap around. <laughs> See what I did there. And uh, yeah, I should put some uh, servos in there. Even if I'm not using the flaps, I don't think uh, they'll do any harm. And it's like 40% throttle. And I think this is was one of uh, the main reasons why I was crashing it so much when I started, because I was flying slow and stalling. I mean, I had a friend who was a really, really good pilot, flies uh, 3D gas planes, this huge two, three meter wingspan planes, and he flies them really well. He recommended this to me as a first plane, and I was out flying. I mean, the main on this, I did it myself no help other than my wife who's there for support 
See, I'm giving it throttle and it's that it was in a self-leveling mode. So I was with this uh, guy who I believe he could fly a brick if it had an engine and wings or motor. And he trimmed it out for me, handed over the controller, and within 10 seconds, I think I crashed it. Probably stalled. Yeah, as you can see, it, it can go slow. As long as you know what you're doing. I think those uh, flaps are causing the trim issues and probably I'll need to add some uh, nose weight. Remember last times I flew this, uh, this also comes with a wood canopy for FPV and I used to put that on and also a small camera mostly to add weight. But I wanted it to be pretty for this flight. <laughs> also what I just did today before flying it, because before I, I'd like to have it disassembled and you have to glue the tail on. I just had a wood screw holding the tail pieces on. So today I finally bit the bullet and glued the tail on because I figured I have more space to store it now and also to get rid of that weight all on the tail end and this thing was so fast When I was just starting out, now I realize I'm flying it real slow. But yeah, I don't really like how it behaves its speed. I think I got it pretty trimmed out. What was that? The motor cut, cut out for a second. As I said, I've uh, replaced almost everything on this. I think the only part from uh, the initial plane is uh, the motor. Because with my frequent crashes with this, I didn't realize the problem was actually me. So I replaced the ESC servos because they broke. Plastic gear servos. I think they still are better ones. Five minute timer's up, but I barely touch the throttle. So I think I can keep this flying for 15 minutes if I want to. Not sure if I do, but might as well get it flying, right? Let's try and give it some more power. And another funny story was when I ordered all those uh, foam parts to rebuild it they actually were delivered on uh, my wedding day and as we were living in an apartment back then so they couldn't leave it at the door we weren't home but after the wedding was done I called the delivery guy and went and got my plane parts sure my wife is not delighted with that but hey not really sure how many flights I have in this probably with both airframes probably totally max uh, 20 in total max they like said I was living in an apartment it was uh, kind of 
inconvenient for me to disassemble it, put it in the car, and go find a place to fly, assemble it again, carry it back up. I love flying, but it just wasn't the, the right model for me at that time. I don't think I, yeah, I've never done any loops or rolls with this. Let's try one. Ooh. Oh man, it's real so slow. Ooh. I had a bit disoriented also there, so I flipped it into self-leveling. That's why I like to have that. Although, yeah, that's nothing wrong with the receiver. Did a range test, even longer distance than, distance than they recommend, and it was fine. It's probably all done to set up. And I didn't do much setup on this, I just stuck it in, verified it corrects in uh, the right directions, and that was pretty much it. Because I knew I should be able to fly it without any stabilization. So yeah, it's still intimidating to me. It's a large plane. Doesn't fly as good as my E flight planes, but yeah, that's probably down to set up. I'll have to tinker with it a bit. Add some nose weight. Yeah. Seems to glide just fine. That's again no. Uh, Stabilization at all. It's not windy anyway, so close to eight minutes on the timer. And I should probably try landing this. I want to push my luck to luck too far. So if you want to get started with flying, this is still available. I, I got mine as a ready to fly. Came with a crappy, I mean, it did its job as a basic uh, transmitter. Then I upgraded it. But there's a lot more options today and a lot easier to get going and to fly. Like uh, the Hobby Zone Apprentice Aero Scout which is very similar to this, just smaller. Many say it's both. Both of those actually are some of the best trainers and they also have the small apprentice stall now. Those I think haven't had any of those, but from what I've seen, they all are great beginner planes. Ooh, lots of traffic. Heck, even a uh, Ishin of Banggood or Amazon or Atlantix or whatever they call them, rebranded. Even those two channel planes just two motors, no moving surfaces. They can give you the bug, I'll tell you. You can check out the videos on my channel with that $5 plane off of Timu. And that's it's actually a lot of fun, even for more than $5. If you want to... Sorry. If you want to try flying, give it a shot. Or if you want to get someone started with flying get them a plane for Christmas it's coming up for their birthday or just without any reason or if you want to get them addicted make them spend all of their money on planes 
heck can get everyone a plane. <laughs> everyone deserves to fly. It's such a great hobby. Okay, seems like the traffic's calmed down. Man, this thing is not punchy at all. It's also another factor that can get you in trouble. I can land this. Ooh, so floaty. Okay. Let's go around again. And I'm 10 minutes on the throttle. Oh yeah, I, rem I, rem I remember now I have a lipo alarm in there also. Was still in there after all those years because of course I didn't have the telemetry still doesn't have it but I didn't even have a computer radio so I used that to know when to land I have to Dedicate some time to this plane, set it up, set up the flaps, but I wouldn't see it needs them. Oh man, look at this, it's so floaty. I'm gonna put it down here, or not. Don't want to ruin it. Probably I spend more time fixing this than flying. Oh, the old one at least. That tape kind of helps on the wings, but when it's far out and when it's cloudy like this, it gets hard to see. Okay, I'm gonna have to go really far. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, got disoriented there. Man, this thing is tricky. Had to put it back into self-leveling. I think I need to set up some dual rates too, because it's it's a bit touchy. I bet that got me in trouble a lot of times also. Although the roll rate roll rate is not fantastic on it. Never done any aerobatics with it rolls or loops was when I got my uh, little yellow champ that's the plane that really got me oh. flying and enjoying flight yeah I was used landing this on huge empty field so didn't really matter as long as it got down. Oh, now I have a car coming. But I have to be a bit more careful here. And it's floatier than what I'm used to. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of expo here with my fingers. And another car. And I have a feeling I'm too high again. Yes, I am. This thing just wants to float. Yeah, I know this is getting old, guys. I don't mind if you're not watching anymore. Just trying to land this thing in one piece and can't seem to get it done. The run thing is so floaty. Okay, let's take it far out there. I'm guessing you guys can't even see it anymore. Uh, yeah, I think I hear another car coming. Darn it. Yeah, something is definitely coming. Oh well, let's see how long this battery can last. I'm almost
almost eight minutes over the timer. Kind of stability mode, uh, auto leveling mode now. <sighs> At least I can hear vehicles coming. It's a dump truck now. Come on, my dude. I want to land this thing. It's pretty cold. My fingers are starting to get numb. And basically, I'm doing expo with my thumbs. <laughs> Trying to be gentle with the sticks. Oh man, I think another one's coming. Or maybe not. Let's see, maybe I'll take this one. I'm not lined up to the road. Ooh. Okay. And the power lines finally got me. <laughs> I've come so close to those so many times. Went between them each and every way possible. But this time they got me. I think the plane survived. Oh well, yeah, that was all my fault. Whew. This brings back brings back lots of memories. How bad is it? Not too bad, just the wind moved. Nose cone came off and the hatch canopy. Otherwise it seems to be in much one piece, so that's where it hit the power line. That's pretty sturdy foam. Whew. Well, this is a very long video. I don't know if uh, anyone made it to the end. If you did, thank you. <laughs> Never intended to make it this long. But here it is, folks. The Hobby King Big 3. My first plane. And, yeah, I ended up crashing again. Haven't crashed a plane in a while. But, yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, quick damage assessment. Uh, the aluminum spar, aluminium, whatever you want to call it, bent a bit. Maybe, I think I have another one, or if not, I can just replace it with carbon fiber. It'd be probably better. Uh, this little clip here also broke. Other than that, just the fuse, fuselage kind of got split. It's not too bad. All fixable. This was uh, the battery, and it's I think as old as the plane, so probably about seven years old. I had uh, guys asking about what batteries I use. You can see it hasn't had much use, but it's still in uh, good shape after seven years. I flew it for 20 minutes, low throttle, but nonetheless, it was a 20 minute flight. Whew. That was a long, boring flight, probably, but <laughs> brought back so uh, so many memories to me. Too bad it ended with a crash. I would have liked a nice landing, but you saw I tried. <laughs> Just didn't want to happen this time. But I'll uh, hopefully try again soon, and I hope it will go better. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching, especially if... Uh, you've uh, watched so long till the end of this video don't forget to leave any questions or comments down in the comments advice yeah I meant to say advice don't forget to like this video especially if you watch this long and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you next time bye